Hey world and welcome back to Stuff We Do where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, sorry I lost my train of thought there for a second. Okay, today I want to show you something really cool. It's a new shape for Honey Badger, new for 2023. Also everybody going to the Brooklyn Knife Show, please enjoy that immensely because I'm not going. Anyway, you can hear my kids playing outside. We have two kids birthday parties today so we are going to be doing that the whole day and tomorrow is my niece's birthday so yes i'm doing kids parties which is also nice okay a lot of awesome videos coming up i will show you all of that in time today's might be a bit long it is very early still it's like i think seven o'clock okay um yes let's do this thing okay as always when we buy honey badger we get this wonderful magnetic box inside the box we get a honey badger sticker like that one and we get our little catalog of awesomeness okay um i do not have any claws i need to remedy that i do not want a gut hook and then what's the other one we get like the tongue, we get one with a belly at the bottom and then the opener. I think it's called the opener. I also need one of those still. Okay, so let's see what else do we get in here. Oh, we get two stickers. Fantastic. And that thing, a little whatchamacallit and the little tool. Okay, so that's awesome. Okay, then chuck that thing out of the way. So the one I want to show you today is this marvelous thing. This is the Honey Badger Clip. Look at the beautiful clip point over there. Okay, that's fantastic. Also, we have jumping up there. So if you are choking up on this thing, your thumb lands there perfectly. Very nicely done jumping, nice big jumping. Also, if you want to use it this way, we have a little bit of jumping right there. Okay, so that's one thing about honey badgers that have always stood out. These things are designed for your hand. Okay, we have the FRN with this honeycomb pattern. Um, nice access to the liner, great action as always, flippy, wonderful. Okay, I don't know, am I actually kind of in frame? Not really, but anyway, so Spidey Flicker's Dream. Now, okay, let's quickly go through the whole thing. We have the beautiful pocket clips, they uh, go in from the back, everything is flush and nice, super cool pocket clips, and then it is reversible. You just take out the little plate, put it that side, take that thing, put it there, screw it in, and you're golden. Okay. Now, this thing was 700 Rand for the large. This is the large one. Um, I'm not going to do sizes and things. You know all of that. I will compare it to others, though, now, in a second. We'll maybe even do a scale swap on this one. Okay. Um, 700 Rand, you get 8CR13 MOV and you get FRN scales. Okay, both of these things, if done nicely, they are fantastic. Okay, it is very budget. Now, if you buy one with G10 scales, um, I have a limited edition one, then it gets quite expensive. If you buy a D2 blade, you're paying 1000 Rand at least. Okay, so it's getting a bit more expensive. Now they have them out in 14C28N, which is a lovely steel. But then this knife is going to cost you 1,500 Rand. Then we are in a different category. Okay, so then you can start looking at other knives. So, according to me, if you want a honey badger, get the bottom of the range one. Get the 8CR one with the FRN. Um, even if you buy the aftermarket scales, like I bought these blue ones, okay? Um, I did buy other ones previously that I dyed and that I put on, an, on another knife, I'll show you. But when you buy these things, it's like 300 Rand extra. So then we're into this knife for 1000 Rand. You get what I'm saying. So then it creeps into a different level, okay? Then we can start looking at other knives. But for the base model, as is over here, HCR13 with the FRN scales, this thing is fantastic. Super tough, fantastic action. I really, really like them like this. Okay, let's look at a few others. Okay, this one is the only medium I have. That's the limited edition one I was telling you about. You get it in a nice honey badger pouch. And this one came with G10 scales. This was before you could actually buy the G10 scales um, aftermarket. Okay, this one is also one of those blacked out ones and it has been numbered. 
I have number 229 and I don't know how many they made and it comes with the D2 blade. This is in the Tanto shape. So this is what a medium looks like compared to a large. Okay, so it is quite a bit smaller. Um, some people prefer this. It is nice, still four finger grip. You can do everything. Okay, and I quite like the Tanto shape. The one thing about these guys, they always have fantastic action. Okay, so let's get this guy back in its little home. Okay, and then we can look at the other ones because everything else I have, they are large. This is the normal flipper. Okay, the normal nice drop point shape. I like this one. Okay, I have tuned this one. Um, my first YouTube video ever was where I actually tied these scales. Okay, and then and then in another video, I think it was my first etching video, I etched a little stuff we do guy on here. Okay, um, this used to be my favorite blade shape, just straight drop point. But this one is quite close because I love a clip point. Okay, so sizes, pretty much exactly the same size. Yes, it is exact. No, wait, am I lying to you? Yeah, pretty much exactly the same size. Um, scales on all of these are exactly the same, which makes it nice because you can swap things around. But just beware, on the older ones that still said, what does that say? Ultra Tech. Ultra Tech, yes. Um, before the Honey Badger. Do you see the two screws over there? Do you see the one screw? over there and the two screws over there so these clips i don't know if they will oh this one was not reversible sorry that's what it was the old ones did not have reversible clips the new ones do okay so fantastic so there we have the what was that thing called the opener then this one i got from my kids and my wife for a father's day this is the worn cleaver shape okay Beautiful, nice, also reversible. And then with love from my kids. Nice jumping at the back. Also a finger choil. But this one has got a smaller finger choil than the normal ones. Can you see the smaller finger choil over there? Yes. Okay. Oh, also another thing I noticed. Um, these ones had jumping on the inside of the finger choils. This one does not. Okay, so I don't know why. Maybe it's because they went all out with jumping over there. So yes, it does not have... Well, it has it over here and everywhere else. But it does not have the... Um, what did I just say? Oh, the jumping on the inside of the finger choil. Okay, so there we have the worn cleaver and the... Whatchamacallit? The... Drop point. Okay, today's going to be a struggle because I'm trying to get this done before I have to go party with children. Okay, this one I also tuned a lot. I dyed the scales and I sanded them and I brassed the hardware and I etched this um, blade to make it look like an old World War II put together plane or something. I cannot remember what I was going for, but this is the tong. This is the one for bulltong. The I'm going to call it the worn cliff stabby sheep's foot anyway and it's got the opener okay so very nice then this i think was the second last new one whatever um this one says stuff we do there at the top and then we have lots of jumping there at the nose this is the leaf shape okay also wonderful also very nice nice tilt to the blade you see that blade is more straight and this one has got a tilt towards the bottom. This one, pretty much best of both. It's got a tilt that I like and it's a bit straighter. It keeps the tip in line. Okay, so there we have that. Clip point, still my favorite. Okay, leaf shape. Also wonderful. And then, this was the last one that came out before this one, and it's this one. This is the Tanto shape, really like this. Um, this is the aftermarket um, Jade G10 camo, DG camo scales, and I dyed them blue, and then I put them on this thing, and look at that, that is fantastic. Okay, so I really... The action on these guys are fantastic. So I really like this blade shape. This was one of my favorites. Okay. But again, 
I don't know why, but I just dig a clip point so much. Okay, so now we have run through all the blade shapes that I own. Like I said, we still have the claw and we still have one that looks like this, but it's got this belly at the bottom, if you understand what I'm saying. And that one is called the opener. Okay, let me quickly put these knives away and then we do a scale swap. Okay, so let's do this thing. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to bore you. Wait a minute. Um, I think I'm going to do a different backspacer on this guy. So I'm going to take the blue and then I want to put something else in there. Give me a second to see what else I have. Okay, these are scales I took off previous ones and I dyed these. I cannot remember what exactly I did. Okay, we have a set of... I cannot remember where my white backspacer is because I actually wanted to use that. Here we have a slightly dyed blue one. Ah, let's use that. That's going to be nice for a bit of contrast. Okay, yeah, so let's do that. It's going to look minty fresh. Blue and blue and blue. Okay, so I'm going to take the support and put it back together. I don't think I need to show you that. Um, it's quite easy to take these guys apart. Uh, let's see how far I get before you get bored or I get bored. Okay. And then the rest will be the six. And I can feel this side spinning. There we go. Where else do we have ah, the pocket clip screws? I know one of the pocket clip screws might be longer than the other one. Oh, you can't see. And I think, oh, did I already lose a bearing? Yes, I did. Okay, so that one, is that the same size as that one? Yeah, they look kind of the same. Body screw, this thing, this thing. Fall out. Fall out. Okay, there it's out. Fall out. Why is this guy fighting me? Okay, there we go. But this, what did I do with it now? Okay, I'm going to go look for a screw. You wait for a second and then I'll show you when we are putting it back together. Okay, so everything is kind of uh, loosely put together. That's not going to work because that's the D-shaped pivot side. That's the centering. At least still, and I'll actually just get everything tight. Don't over tighten anything in life. It never works out well. Okay. Let's see, is this thing too much, too little? What's the centering like? Okay, now it's a bit too tight. Centering is fine. Now the centering is bad. Now the centering is fine. Okay, nice. So we have a beautiful blue with a slightly lighter blue backspacer. We have our pocket clip back in its place. Nice. I love these pocket clips. Actually, I always have a few extra because every now and again, if you get like one of those on top of the scale type of knives, then yes, they work nicely. Now, when I bought this thing, I also bought myself some very flashy paracord that I thought would fit with this whole nautical theme. So I will be making a lanyard again in a different video and then we can all enjoy that.
Okay, so there's my new honey badger clip point now in blue. Okay, all of you, so I'm gonna maybe show you something. Um, yes, maybe I'll add some footage of a braai on here. Okay, all of you, if you made it this far, you're fantastic. Goodbye. Okay, it is Friday afternoon. Um, and we're gonna braai only our dogs, so we're using the little braai today. Yes, I need to grow lawn. Okay, I chucked on my grill, and now we are going to, I don't know, wait for it to get less hot and more coaly, and then we will do American-style hot dogs from Pick and Pay. Okay, we are doing huge rainbow mellows. These things, I don't know them, but they look fantastic. <coughs> Okay, quite a smoky fire we have here. Look at the rainbow. Okay, that marshmallow went a little too far. But it's still good. Okay, and we are making American hot dogs from Pick and Pay Deli. They're going to go into another grandma's casserole. Okay, and we are doing it on the little braai that I showed you previously, and we are using our honey badger clip point. Um, I must say, I think this is my favorite blade shape from honey badger so far. Okay, they're on the fire, and we're going to turn them maybe once or twice, and then we can eat. Shop. Okay, we are getting some color on this. Please excuse the kids. It's the 1st of December, so we have Christmas trees going and playing Christmas tunes. I'm playing with my clip point honey badger. So life's good. Okay, these things are splitting to show that they are done. I'm done. I hope you all have a wonderful festive season. And I can say it so long. Merry Christmas.